In today's video, I will discuss the differences between Aviron and Hydro, two popular rowing machine brands. I aim to provide a detailed comparison to help viewers determine which option is better suited for their needs. The primary distinction lies in pricing and warranty. Hydro's current Make sure to check out YouTube's recommended products on the screen or down in the description as they are related to this video and may provide you with extra help with what's been discussed so far. They are usually quite cheap and are unique to this video, so it might be worth checking out. Anyway, back to the tutorial. Current price is $2,495, while Aviron's is $2,199, making it slightly more affordable. Another difference is in their monthly subscription plans. Hydro charges $44 monthly with no cheaper alternatives, while Aviron charges $29 monthly or $25 if billed annually, offering a more cost-effective option. Lastly, Hydro has a 5-year frame warranty and 1 year on parts, whereas Aviron has a 10-year frame warranty and 1 year on parts. Overall, Aviron is the cheaper, more budget-friendly option and has a longer warranty period. When it comes to rowing performance, Hydro has a computer-controlled magnetic system, which means the resistance is adjusted according to your rowing intensity. It also has 300 resistance levels in both a magnetic and water or air system, making it smooth. Aviron, on the other hand, has a magnetic and air system and 16 tension levels. Therefore, Hydro's resistance is more advanced and offers more levels. In terms of classes, Hydro offers hundreds of workout classes, including lifelike rowing sessions on water, while Aviron offers eight different workout options, including virtual scenic rowing. Consequently, Hydro has a more extensive variety of workout options and classes. Regarding weight capacity, Hydro has a maximum weight capacity of 375 pounds, while Aviron has a higher maximum capacity of 397 pounds. This means Aviron can accommodate more weight and cater to a broader range of users. Despite these differences, both machines are designed to be compact and space-saving. They also offer adjustable resistance settings and have performance tracking features that help users track their progress. In conclusion, while I appreciate Hydro's wide range of resistance levels and variety of classes, including the lifelike rowing sessions on water, Aviron stands out as my overall winner. It is quite budget-friendly and offers excellent value for its money, with a higher weight capacity and a longer warranty period. I encourage viewers to explore the products through the links provided in the description.